take a quick look at my most recent pickup from the uh, Turtles of Grayskull line. This is either Slacker or Slaker. Uh, both, both names work because obviously we're looking at a combo of Faker and Slash. So as time goes on and I collect more figures from this line and I, I kind of digest my thoughts on it, um, I'm not, I'm not completely, I'm, I'm, I'm a little underwhelmed, let's put it that way. Um, the combination of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Masters of the Universe is like a fever dream. It is a, it literally a dream come true for kids from the, the 80s and 90s. Um, the execution I feel has been sufficient, but it has by no means like blown me away. Um, I am actually kind of looking for reasons, reasons to not collect this line anymore because I just, I have too much stuff, too many things that I'm collecting. Uh, my interests are spread uh, too thin. Um, but then again, I walk down an aisle and I see this guy and I'm kind of pulled back in. Um, not just because he's kind of a, a striking figure, but because of the scale, which I thought would be really fun to have on the shelf with the other Turtles of Grayskull uh, figures that I have so far um, because Slacker or Slaker here is a big boy. Here he is next to uh, Raphael. So as you can see, we have uh, like our first real upscaled figure for this line. On top of which, I don't know if I'm going to collect everything to build Metal Botto, uh, but Slaker, I'm just going to call him Slaker. Slaker here comes with I think several pieces yeah he comes with both his uh, his hips his uh, bilateral upper legs and the head are all included here and there is some cool box art as well let's see if I can get it all in frame of course not but let's get him out of the box and see what we think Just when I think I'm out. So this guy is definitely not the figure to get me to stop collecting this line. If anything, this is the figure that keeps me keeps me in it. Um, he might be my favorite uh, in the entire line so far. And before we get to him, and before we get to him specifically, he is a deluxe figure, so he comes with one of these um, cardboard backings that I don't really do anything with these I it just stays in I just throw it in a drawer and that's where it that's where it lives um the metal botto build a figure that we're getting I am more on board for now he so with with slaker slack slash slacker slaker slacker here you get the head and I can tell just by the, the construction of it we're gonna get the um the uh the play feature the that the original Roboto had which is going to be fun and there is his crotch and upper legs i might have to build him. and the figure itself uh wow he's 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 definitely the uh, the focal point uh on your turtles of gray skull shelf if you happen to have one um here he is with raf so again you get a sense of this the scale difference the size of this guy he is definitely the largest figure we've gotten for the line and the figure himself i was just sort of indirectly complaining about the quality of plastics in certain uh, action figure lines the other day when i was i was gushing about the um the legends of dragon Ore line having just like uh, a heftier more solid feel to the figures this guy feels to be more more quality than than what we've gotten so far in the line not just because he's larger, it just feels like he's just a, a more solid, solidly constructed figure with, dare I say, better plastic? I don't know. He feels heavy. He comes with two weapons that I think they're identical. It's just two matching weapons. Um, the uh, the pink shoulder pads and the belt, uh, this, this torso um, armor piece, which is great. He comes with what was a sticker on our original uh, faker toys back in the 80s, but he it's painted on on him the uh, the little sticker that uh, makes makes him an Android right makes him a robot um, The shell is a really nice Kind of metallic purple you can store a weapon there and just like all the other figures from this line uh, the shell itself is also a shield 
And I do not need to tell you how expressive of a figure he is. I mean, that expression and that face sculpt is menacing and exaggerated. He's, he's, he's kind of everything that a crossover between these two properties should be. He is representing both uh, the wackiness and the colorfulness and a little bit of, uh, I don't know, crudeness of the, of the mass, excuse me, of the Ninja Turtles line. And yet it's very, very obvious uh, that he's, he's paying homage to Masters of the Universe as well. He's awesome and a little creepy. And I am a fan. And that is just a quick look at Slash plus Faker equaling Slaker or Slacker, whichever you prefer. Um, my most recent pickup for the Turtles of Grayskull line.